trying to set up, I will fix also uh, a little bit settings, I will put a higher settings values, like 400 energy points and more samples. Let's go from 16 to 64. <coughs> and before I hit the render, I will pause this because it's like it's useless that you will look at my computer when it's rendering. So uh, I will see you in a moment. And if I will change something by the final render, I will let you know, of course. See you in a second. Okay, the image is almost ready, uh, but I decided to start recording film a little bit sooner. And as you can see, uh, the render is highly dependent on depending on the reflections. So uh, this means uh, it reflects very highly the HDR map and the environment. And if you choose a bad HDR map or wrong, it doesn't matter very much. But if you want a different result here, you have to change the HDR map, rotate, or change the settings, or use absolutely another one. And this is very important because this is not a failure here or here. It's the reflection from the environment. And if you if you want to fix these things, uh, you have only to change the HDR map, stuff like that. So. Okay, so fin the final result is very nice. I like it a lot. I like the plastic part, metal part, everything inside here. It's very nice. The, the background, usually, I love this background. It's very simple, and you can see everything there. So, but let's copy the image and place it into Photoshop. Now, place this one above, and now it depends really on what monitor you have. Every other monitor can have different result and stuff like that. But, uh, I will see it like some way you will see it different way, so it doesn't matter. Uh, change this to multiply. Now if you change this to multiply the white parts will be like no attention but the black parts and the darker parts will get darker and darker. So you can see as you can see the result is much nicer. Also, here is some kind of gray or noise here. Now, the noise we can fix very easily. Uh, we can apply a slightly Gaussian filter on that. Now, let me zoom here, apply a little bit higher, like this, and the noise will disappear. There you see. And also, we can put it a little bit down, like 50%. Better now. But you can see how the ambient occlusion map can affect the final image. And actually, th this is all for, for this. I hope you like that. And I hope I will see you by the next tutorial. We'll see some posts on the forum and stuff like that. So, hope, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you the next time. So, so now, happy modeling and bye bye.